I can say after using this game ball mouse for a week, like it's it is a thousand times better than my old Logitech mouse here. You know. So and it's super cool. So as you can see, here's the mouse. We got a marble. Um, comparing to an old one, the weight the weight is heavier on the new one actually. Even though this is bigger, the it's heavier weight on the on the game ball one than it is to the Logitech one. So I thought that was interesting. On this, we get a 1,000 hertz pulling rates. This mouse is so much smoother than the Logitech Trackman. Like when I'm playing Apex Legends or video games, my aim is so much better because I can fine tune my shots because of the sensor and the 1,000 hertz pulling rate. So a few things on the front of it, right? Along this edge here on the front, that is your scroll wheel. And it's just a digital scroll wheel. And uh, honestly, it took some getting used to, but it works very, very well. Like it, it really gets the job done. So like with editing, like with this, with my old one, you don't have any of that, right? Like you don't have a, a scroll wheel or anything. So like if you're doing 3D modeling, uh, video editing, even audio editing, it's a pain, dude, because you can't scroll in. And so many programs these days use a scroll wheel. So major upgrade there from what I've been using, huge upgrade. And I'm super happy that it's innovated into this mouse and it's, it's amazing. So you basically hit that button on the front there and that will switch the, um, what's it called? Like if you're left-handed, the thing when you're left-handed, you know what I mean? Like if you're left-handed, you hit the button, I guess. And then you, there you go. You got it all switched over. It features three buttons on each side. So we got one here, here, and here you got three buttons on each side and they're all programmable um as far as like you can you can switch out any of those i forgot to mention this but the middle button changes the dpi setting so you can switch like if you want this to be your your primary click it comes like that but you can s switch the primary click for the top one which that's what i did so i went with the one on top because it just felt better Depending on your grip and like how comfortable you want to be, um, you can just switch it. It's not too big of a deal. Um, I want to thank Eric, Eric at Game Ball for hooking me up because he's a sweet dude. Um, shout out to Eric, dude. Seriously. But yeah, you got RGB, which is really cool. So there's a button on top here. We can click to change the colors. I don't know how many colors it has, but no color. Um, so, you know, just cosmetic things, nothing too crazy, but it does look really nice, I will say. Um, overall, I'm super impressed with what Game Ball has done to make a modernized trackball mouse. It truly is a breath of fresh air coming from an old Logitech mouse with 2000, early 2000s technology. So if you love the Trackman Marble Mouse, you're going to love this. The build quality is exceptionally good. It's just sturdy, it feels great in the hand, and it's great. I'll have some gameplay videos out pretty soon on the mouse, so you guys can check those out as well. If you made it through the whole video, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you liked it, and leave a comment below if you have any questions about the mouse.